Is ChatGPT for all a good financial analyst? So this is what I want to explore in this video. I, I keep exploring ChatGPT for all's capabilities and I have not seen anybody else um, on YouTube exploring this. So I thought, okay, this could be interesting. I have not uh, tried this before, but I will do it uh, as a live demo. So um, if, you, if you Google financial analyst, uh, the income in the US, it would be like 80K. So a financial analyst would make say, 80 sometimes to 100k depending on where you work and in today's video we are going to analyze the tesla stock and try to figure out a valuation uh, for the tesla stock or at least like figure out the implicit growth rates the market assigns to tesla and stuff like this uh, previously you would have to pay a financial analyst to do right and but now we can use chatgpt 4.0 it actually has great skills and yeah so let's let's try it out so first of all we need some data right chatgpt 4.0 also needs some data so let's open the financials so that it can do the analysis um okay so here we have the um the financial data and let's maybe make this a bit smaller so we have all the financial data right we can right click and take a screenshot so we will just use a screenshot because i think it's it's more con convenient here we use the income statement so um copy this so the income statement it shows us the revenue numbers right even the most recent revenue numbers uh, which is given here like uh, 49 billion and uh, in the year 23 um, they made 96 billion in revenue in the year 22 they made 81 billion in revenue right and then they have some costs of revenue and they make a cross profit they need to pay taxes and uh yeah different uh, um like debt they need to to um pay pay off the debt so they have a net income to the common uh, stockholders of 30.6 billion um so these are just some just some uh, basic numbers from the from the statistics here okay and uh so let's copy copy this one in so now uh, chatgpt 4.0 has the income statement they have the all this information we can expect it with ocr it can extract the relevant information let's also add the cash flow statement it might give us uh, more information right here we see the operating cash flow is like roughly 11 billion and then um yeah they have some investing cash flow and the free cash flow rate is much smaller than the net income which would probably mean that they have some uh, significant depreciation um, so they they spend a lot of money on um, scaling up their compute for example on scaling up they spend a lot of money money for instance on nvidia compute um, which would they and they use depreciation for the nvidia chips for example for example uh, so which means that not all the money they spend would appear in the uh, income or loss statement in the income statement um, but it appears in the fr free cash flow statement so they have a, they prepare for significant uh, growth they invest a lot in compute infrastructure and ai okay so but let's take this um this one as well save the full page so the full page also like you see it gives us all the information from 2020 on and we also copy it uh, into uh, into this and then maybe just so it has some some additional statistics like the market cap let's go to the statistics tab and also take the screenshot save the full page we copy it and we put it here as well okay so now it has all the information right it has the um, cash flow information it has the income statement information and it has the overall statistics of the company okay so now first i want to know what are the implicit growth rates the market assigns to tesla okay so what 10-year growth rates of free cash flow does the market implicitly assume for the given stock so here we have like uh so say they make um you you, you can see the market assigns a market capitalization which is just the um this current stock price times the number of shares of let's see Can you see where's the market cap balance sheet net income 
I think it's not here, right? Is it? So maybe then let's go to the summary tab. Yeah, here's you see market cap of 554 billion. Okay, so uh, Tesla has a current market cap of 554 billion. So we have the current stock price. Here we see the five year stock price of 173 uh, times the number of shares outstanding. The number of shares outstanding is um, 3 billion or so. Uh, so we multiply those and you get the current market cap. Okay, um, uh, and, and the question is now, what is the implied growth rate assuming we have like a growth period of 10 years so for 10 years we keep growing our free cash flow cash flows starting from our current free cash flows of here we see the current free cash flow of only 1.3 billion okay so we assume we we are now having only 1.3 billion in free cash flows for the whole year and uh, now we need to grow this 1.3 billion um, over 10 years and then we have a terminal growth rate like say three percent or something like the economy growth uh, okay so this is standard free cash flow analysis that would be done by the market okay so let's ask ChatGPT to do it and you can i will um, add a link to this conversation to uh, below the 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 uh, in the YouTube comments, so you can check it out. You can just follow follow along. Okay, so you see it first gathers data, it figures out the current market cap, it figures out the correct cash flow, so the OCR uh, object character, uh, uh, is it object character recognition? So the, uh, the text recognition in the uh, images uh, actually works great. Um, it assumes a discount rate of 8%, so which means that your uh, if I invest today, my my cash today is eight percent more um, valuable than cash in one year, right? And in two years, it would be like eight percent, and then eight percent on top of that more valuable. Okay, so so like cash today is more important and more valu valuable than cash in a year, in two years, in three years, and so on. So this is meant with a discount rate. Terminal growth rate is just a an um, assuming it grows forever by 3%. But if the discount rate is larger than the terminal growth rate, then actually the, t the terminal growth, ra growth rate becomes less and less important. So the higher the discount rate, the less important the terminal growth rate. But ChatGPT knows all of this, so you don't need to understand, <laughs> understand it. You should in uh, understand it maybe if you do financial analysis, but yeah. So here is the here is the result and this is what we asked, right? The market implicitly assumes a 10-year free cash flow growth rate of 43.82 percent so this is significant growth rate so uh, but remember we start from a low base we start with only 1 billion in free cash flow in the recent years year and starting from this low base the market assumes that tesla will, will figure out the way of growing those free cash flows by 43 percent annually this is a compound annual growth rate of 43 percent per year um, in order to justify the current stock price um, which is like, I think, so the market believes in this, in this scenario, we would say the market believes that, uh, that uh, full self-driving is coming, that the humanoid robot is coming and all these uh, like beautiful futuristic scenarios, AI based scenarios, AI, AI applications are coming and Tesla will create huge amounts of free cash. Okay, but uh, so this would be a very bullish assumption. But now let's have a look again at at uh, what we fed it, fed it, right? So we assumed here again we have the free cash flow of 1.3 billion, but we sh we we might want to look at the net income, and the net income of Tesla is, if you go into the financials, the net income for the common stockholder currently is 13.6 billion, right? We have already uh, said that they reinvest a lot in compute infrastructure and the compute infrastructure is not actually not an expense uh, item. It should not be counted as an expense item in the current years. In the current year, it should be dep depreciated over time beca because the compute infrastructure can still be used next year and the year after that and so on, yeah? So we have like the net income number kind of reflects 
uh, this that we ha currently have a high investment but we can reuse the investment over over the years so the normal accounting way of handling this is to depreciate those investments and you, we see the net income of the common stockholder is 13.66 billion which is much which is like 10 times more right than the free cash flow rate so let's ask ChatGPT to consider to actually use the net income instead of the free cash flow and uh, then perform the same analysis right so this is like kind of the the 43 percent annual growth that we that it 43.82 percent annual growth um it was um the most say pessimistic way of looking at it right because we use the most pessimistic number the free cash flow number but we could also use the net income sometimes we do also free cash flow analysis on the net income uh number so if we repeat the same experiment here we can see so let's give it some time we can see it should be much better so the growth rate should be much more re realistic let's see the market implicitly assumes a 10-year net income growth rate of approximately 12 percent only for tesla this growth rate so this is like i i would say 12 percent uh, if this is this is true, um, this, if this is true, this calculation, and I, I think it is, so let's maybe have a look at the code. Find the implied growth rate. So it does the valuation for different types of growth rate. Yeah, it seems it seems it seems to be correct. Um, yeah, if this is correct, then uh, then the then the market only assumes that the growth rate on this initial thirteen billion. Um, cash flow in in today in today's uh, situation uh, that I mean then the stock price would be really cheap right because we can expect probably the Tesla grows by much more significantly so we have like the current assumption is that the that the market assumes that the that Tesla cash flows grow between twelve and forty percent between ten and forty percent maybe this is a realistic. Uh, assumption which is like i think it, it's a great analysis um but if you if you if you use net income and usually companies these days are um evaluate, evaluated according to the net income so in proportion to the net income if the net income grows like and we have seen this with nvidia if the net income explodes then the valuation of the company explodes as well so oftentimes net income is just used as cash flows in those types of uh, valuations and uh, if this is true then tesla would be significantly undervalued in my opinion this is not investment advice i just use chatgpt 4.0 um interactively okay so let's maybe have some fun let's maybe give um let let uh, chatgpt 4.0 come up with a chart displaying both scenarios in one plot like both growth uh growth stories right just also to show the capabilities of chatgpt 4.0 um let's see if it can figure it out So we should see something like it should start like one situation sh should start ah, okay so one one situation like the free cash flow situation starts with one billion yeah so this is 1.99 billion in the first year and the others should start with net income of 15 billion right so and then we have these these growth rates i don't i'm not quite sure where it did get those numbers from maybe it already assumes one year of growth here and uh, in the end, you see the, how the net income grows, grows if by like, what was it, 12% or so? Yeah, 12%. So the net income curve grows by 12%. So we're starting from 15.3 billion to 17 billion. It's like 10%, um, 12% growth rate, right? And here we start with like 1.9 billion and we go to... 2.8 billion which is more like a 40 percent growth rate so the free cash flow should grow like this this or the net income should grow like this to, to justify the current stock price um yeah what i also like um so this is beautiful chatgpt 40 definitely can could work as a financial analyst so you could hire it you wouldn't have to pay eighty thousand bucks but 10 bucks a month <laughs> to use it uh, so this is great um this conversation is definitely helpful so far uh, i like this way of analyzing stocks uh, interactively and it even um, 
it, it even what impacts could this growth have it even i even like that it suggests follow-up questions so let's maybe go with it how does tesla's growth compare to competitors let's just click it it's also pretty fast i would say right it could be faster i mean we still have to wait a bit uh, now but it's much faster than ChatGPT 4 um, and ChatGPT 4 turbo right um even like doing some financial analysis like this um this figure here it is just just a beautiful um figure maybe i should use this as a, as a thumbnail for for the for the video <laughs> Good, so uh, let's have a look. To compare Tesla's growth to its competitors, we can look at key financial metrics. Yeah, like it, it, it selects competitors in the EV sector. And yeah, Tesla's revenue growth is 24% and income growth is 12%. Free cash flow growth, it assumes 43%. Yeah, now it just compares it with different, different EVs. I think, I mean, there are some limitations, obviously, because I think Tesla is not an EV company, it's an AI company. So, uh, whatever. I mean, you get the answers you, you ask for, right? <laughs> so, if you, if you have, like, if you ask a general questions without providing data, you probably get only general responses. But um, I think this approach is, is a great approach to get started, um, to, do, to give it some screenshots of Yahoo Finance, if, of the company you want to analyze, and uh, ask it for discounted cash flow, ask it for implicit growth assumptions, and then you can compare it with your own assumptions. Okay, so uh, this is great. Thanks you. Thanks for watching this video. I think it was very useful. If you want to um, learn more, then check out the Finkster um, ecosystem. So you can go to finkster.com. We have uh, our goal is to help you be on the right side of change. You can ch simply put in your email here, subscribe to our free newsletter. I will um, keep you informed. I will send. I send regular newsletter. We have one hundred sixty thousand people already on the newsletter so it's a quite large publication at least uh, relatively large i mean there are larger publications obviously but our ma main purpose is to help you be on the right side of change which means we address like new ai tools like ChatGPT and uh, introduce prompt engineering and ai, AI engineering uh, concepts uh, we started out with python education but now we use python mainly for uh, for talking to AI, right? It can be used, so you can call the APIs of Llama. And yeah, if you want to really do the deep dive, you can also go to academy.finkster.com um, where we have many courses, like like our most recent course, how to build multi-agent um, teams and systems using LangGraph. LangGraph is a Python library. Um, it can help you um, build like out, automated corporations so to say right so you can create organizations consisting of thousands of ai agents doing some useful work for you and you can be the single person overseeing those thousands of agents creating value so how to do this you will learn this in in, in our courses here um, you can also learn how, how to do fine-tune open ai models and stuff like all the beautiful stuff of prompt engineers and AI, ai engineers you will learn on the academy uh, so check out the academy as well and yeah, thanks for watching this video. Uh, consider using uh, ChatGPT as a financial analysis. Subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Bye.